hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys this is something that is going to repeat and repeat all over the world there's no escaping it the backlash is going to come thick and fast for china uh for the global uh situation that we're presently under guys i bring you this nobody asked united states for compensation over 2009 flu chinese embassy fires back at obi is equally so now obi is equally of course is now uh putting herself forward and there's a nigerian side as well senior advocate of nigeria a nigerian prominent lawyer that's already instituted a legal suit against the uh Chinese government for the global situation and Obi Esekweseli is now winning. So as I said, this uh, global situation that we're presently under might well prove uh, what breaks the back of the Chinese economy. So now guys, again the headline, nobody asked the United States for compensation over 2009 flu. Chinese embassy fires back at Obi Esekweseli. So now let's now see what this back and forth is all about. The Chinese embassy in Nigeria has lashed out at former Minister of Education Obi Esekweseli after she demanded for compensation from China over the C-19 pandemic. Obi Esekweseli had stated that Africa must be accorded damages and liability compensation from China, the rich and powerful country that failed to transparently and effectively manage this global catastrophe the press secretary of the chinese embassy in nigeria son suyong who reacted to obi esekweseli's demand stated that it makes no sense at all son suyong who wondered why no one demanded for compensation for the 2009 h1n1 flu which killed nearly 200,000 people after being first diagnosed in the united states stated that c19 is a common enemy to all mankind and may strike anytime anywhere he also said that aids was first reported in the united states in the 80s and then swept across the world including africa causing untold sufferings to countless victims the statement published on the guardian reads it is noticed that the guardian reported april 18th the op-ed by mrs obiageli ezekweseli china must pay reparations to africa for its c19 failures first published on the washington post april the 16th edition the remarks of mrs ezekweseli in the op-ed makes no sense at all we must know that since the outbreak of C-19, an open, transparent and responsible spirit, China has taken the most comprehensive, rigorous and thorough measures to contain its spread and conduct international cooperation. In this process, China has made tremendous sacrifices, accumulated valuable experience and made significant contributions to the global response the international community bears witness to and applauds china's efforts and progress the virus is a common enemy to all mankind and may strike anytime anywhere like other countries china is also a victim not a perpetrator even less an accomplice of c19 in the face of major public health crises and infectious diseases the international community should stand in solidarity and work together not resort to mutual accusation or demand retribution and accountability as we recall there has never been a precedent of the latter did anyone ask the united states to offer compensation for the 2009 H1N1 flu, which was first diagnosed before breaking out on a large scale in the United States and then spread to 214 countries and regions, killing nearly 200,000 people. AIDS was first reported in the United States in the 80s and then spread across the world, including Africa, causing untold sufferings to countless victims. And we don't remember Mrs. Ezekweseli coming forward to ask the United States to be held accountable. The financial turmoil in the United States triggered 
by the collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008 turned into a global financial crisis. Did anyone ask the United States to take the consequences? We must understand that our enemy is the virus, not China. The international community can only defeat the virus by pulling together. Attacking and discrediting others will not save time and lives lost. We hope that Mrs. Ezekwesele will respect facts, science and international consensus, stop letting herself dance to others' tune, stop attacking and blaming China for nothing, and stop making irresponsible remarks. So this is now uh, the Chinese uh, embassy giving Madame Obi a bit down. But then of course they can whistle in the wind because the vultures are circling. The vultures are circling around China and there is no escaping the consequences of this thing. The world first needs to contain uh, this thing and defeat it and then the next uh, focus is going to be on uh, uh, China and the backlash is going to be quick, is going to be swift and it's going to be merciless because the Americans were already gunning for them anyway before this outbreak. So now there's going to be a judgment almost certainly within the United States that would then be used to tie down Chinese assets in that space. Now, once that precedence has been set in the United States, every single country will simply follow through. So you have it happening in the European Union space and then of course in uh, I'm not sure if it will happen so much within the Asian space because uh, the the Chinese holds that space in hostage but certainly it will happen in Africa as well. So all of these monies that we have been borrowing, all these loans and all of these things that we have been borrowing from these people is almost certain to be cancelled and we're talking in the tens of trillions that these people will be hit by and also I am hopeful but I am also apprehensive that there might well be backlash against uh, Chinese nationals in our foreign countries because a lot of people of course will see them as the purveyors of what's happened and the uh, you, you know and some of the language in this country sometimes will get them towards that because already you can hear uh um trump describing c19 as the wuhan flu so the wuhan of course is the region within china that this thing first broke out so he's already trying to put that language out there and uh once that uh, language gains currency and it becomes then the language of description of the global pandemic, then of course it will be a skip and a jump before people then start to immediately localizing that virus to individuals of a Chinese like hue. So this is now the direction of travel and Madame Obi of course is only really speaking to the drum beat that is echoing in the ethers of the world because this is something that's already going on. There are states, individual states within the United States who have already proceeded with legal action. So they will proceed with legal actions and they will immediately get the judgment because of course the American legal system will be sympathetic to uh, whatever suit is being weighed against China. So they will immediately, very quickly, get judgment against uh, the Chinese and they will then immediately quickly proceed to seize Chinese assets to compensate for or to make good that judgment that they have gotten. This is what is going to happen. And as I said, this is going to be the breaking of the back of the Chinese economy. It is almost certain and the Americans have been looking for the window of opportunity to break that economy and the Chinese have now scored an own goal. Conversations in the comment section are back and forth between Madame Obi and the Chinese embassy but then of course they can leave Madame Obi well alone because this thing has a global dimension. Come share thoughts but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video then come tell me what you are making of this move now against the Chinese in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here I say peace.